Surging Sparks, TCG opening. Let's just get to it and draw some forms to them. Let's go. All right, you know your boy got the Surgeon Sparks with the Pikachu. We got the good luck. We're just going to open this up, get straight into it. If he can open it, he cannot. He's got it. Okay, let's try this open and see what we got. Okay. We got the Sphere being a cutie. We got Dino being a cutie. Got, oh, Flittle. I saw we get Flittles in literally every single one, so... Alright. Um, oh, Blitzel. That's a cute card. Ooh, Paldean Taurus. I like that. That's really cool. We got the Latios. Oh, very cool. Skill Dive. A Surfer. Yep. Cool. A Reverse Holo Relor. Ooh, a Reverse Holo Palkia. Dragon type energy's back. That's cool. And. Ooh, ooh an Eternatus. That's a really nice card. Super cool. And. Basic electric energy. Awesome. Your boy Sphere gets the Future Paradox spin. Let's just make a little robo. I want this little guy to be a sort of like a spheal shell surrounding the future paradox energy ball. And no matter what I could do, I couldn't tear myself away from the thought of this little guy just being like one of those ferret ball toys you used to be able to get, just rolling around wildly. And also, if that's not a great idea for a toy paradox Pokemon at some point, I don't know what is. The funniest thing about this one is that there isn't much to say about it. Sphere is a simple, yet effective design that I just turned into a robot with a fun little sphere design underneath. It's cute and effective. And I hope that Shark Tank likes my latest project. <laughs> Iron Roller, the Paradox Pokemon and Ice and Electric type. A robot featured in a paranormal magazine seemingly designed as a fun kid's toy from the future. The ball beneath the main body of Iron Roller has the ability to change its friction instantly transitioning between super slippery ice and locking itself down to climb any surface magnetically. Iron Roller exudes a cool air constantly, making it a great companion for the summer. Iron Roller has the ability Quark Drive. Our next spin for Dino was the Terraform. Terraforms are at the time of writing a video I'm going to release very soon or it's already out. Essentially, they're non-crown unique forms for Pokemon for terrestrialization, adding crystalline additions to the Pokemon and changing them ever so slightly. I chose Dragon-type Terra for Dino because I thought it'd be so adorable to give it its own set of Hydreigon sock puppet mouths coming out of their neck ruffle. I've always been fond of Hydreigon's silly little mouths, and they fit really well when going with Dino, making this sort of comical-looking puppety boy. I did choose to make their neck a little longer and give it longer legs and hair as well, make it look a little more mature and menacing. Kind of skipping pause Zwilus here, but it's okay. This is all hypothetical. Please don't come for me, Zwilus enjoyers. Terra Dragon Dino gains a set of Hydreigon mouths that share their evolution sentiments for violence and will lash out and nip at anything nearby. All three mouths can come together to unleash the true Terra Dragon energy in a massive burst. Flittle is a Pokemon I've got a few times in the cards as well as a Spafra. And here we actually spun and got G-Max form. G-Max is usually the form I hate to draw the most, but here... Oh, here I cooked. I used Dreadnought's G-Max art here to sort of study, and I found some interesting tidbits from it. I started by doing the little flittle shape, rather simple, but to make it G-Max I added in a third eye, make it feel alien and scarier, as well as giving it bigger ruffles and long ponytail-like things. Then I shifted the perspective a bit, making it seem like it's shot further from below. Here's where I divulge my G-Max secrets I found out. First, make sure your shadows are darker than usual, helps give it a bit of an extra oomph to the spooky feeling, but also, add in a soft, darker shade with a soft brush across most of the Pokemon in kind of a reddish colour. Then, add in a slight bit of a saturated dark red, enough that it shows in the shadows. Kind of use a big soft brush for this, much like the first shadow. And it gives you just this cool, menacing look to the Pokemon. 
Along with making the eyes glow, this made G-Max Flittle a little scary creature who, even with its silly nature, it is a menace coming to get you. Blitzel is up next, and I rolled Beast Paradox for this one. If you're new here, Beast Paradox is an ultra space warped Pokemon from my own Australia based region, the Astara region. And here, Blitzel is inspired by my love of Monster Hunter and takes on a bit of a Kirin form. Here, Blitzel couldn't evolve, so it became larger and stronger and gained a dragon electric typing. I wanted it to feel a bit like their main was that of a bright glowing storm cloud, just filled with electricity. But as I went along, I thought it'd be cool to give Blitzel a whole lot of glowing energy instead. Their markings, horns and mane all are glowing blue and it just looks like it's a bolt of lightning themselves. I'd say the dragon typing doesn't show exactly through a whole lot, but people who know of Kieran will be able to point at it and go, I know that reference! <laughs> Blitzel Beast Paradox formed the Kieran Pokemon, a dragon and electric type. A Blitzel that found its way into the Ultra Convergence quickly adapted, developing powerful manes of lightning but losing the ability to evolve in the process. As it runs, Blitzel charges up its mane, transforming from a simple white to dark, and then crackling with electricity eventually becoming fully supercharged. When fully charged, its mane gains a glowing blue hue and sparks towards anything in this path, making it incredibly dangerous. This form of Blitzel has the ability Motor Drive. Palaean Tauros was a welcome surprise for a card, and we got a pass paradox for it. Yippee! Always want to make a Tauros into a Minotaur. Seriously, this may be one of my favorite designs I've ever done, and it's just a straight up buff by Pedal Taurus, and it rocks. I've actually done a Minotaurus before, but it wasn't very good, and so it went into the archive. Maybe it'll come back, but here it's water breed Paldean Taurus. And while we slurp all that water off of it, don't take that out of context, actually, but here it's just fighting steel type with those horns and bits now take on a more steel-like shape and no longer glows. And look at those muscles. It's got a bit of a Marchamp look to them. And to be honest, when I want pokey muscles, I usually use Marchamp as a reference for it. I also kind of turned the horns to looking a bit like those stereotypical caveman bones as well as horns. I don't know how well it kind of comes through, but I thought it'd be fun to call back a bit to like a caveman-like design. Now all we need is some kind of lab roof to put this ancient beastie into. Trample Horn, the paradox Pokemon of steel and fighting type. Resembling an ancient form of Taurus featured in a dubious magazine, Tramplehorn was an ornery and solitary Pokemon that bullied anything within its territory. With steel hard horns and powerful muscles, it possessed formidable strength, capable of throwing entire trees around like small stones. Due to its bad temper, the target of this attack was often another Pokemon simply trying to eat grass. Tramplehorn has the ability Protosynthesis. Next, we got Latios card, and surprisingly straight after Past Paradox, we got Future Paradox. I used the Mega Latios for this one, uh, leaning towards it being more of this kind of sick rocket or mecha that would be used for space travel in the future, with the ability for it to sort of fold up into an eggy shape, maybe for transport or something. Maybe even being folded up in overworld travel, only opening up during combat. I do think the thick neck here was the only thing I'm a little bit iffy about with my design, but the rest is awesome, even if I did almost forget to add in that future paradox energy till I put it on the wings, and it gives future swords of justice energy with the blades, probably flying by and cutting things with them. Iron Wingspan, the paradox Pokemon, a psychic and flying type. A robot featured in a paranormal magazine, it is the latest in space travel technology, said to be capable of taking humanity to other planets. It has the ability to cloak itself, bending light to pass by unnoticed, or, more dangerously, deliver deadly strikes with powerful energy wings. Iron Wingspan allows those it trusts to ride on it, but be prepared for the blinding speeds it can achieve. Iron Wingspan has the ability Quark Drive. Reller is one I didn't expect to roll, <laughs> roll, shiny Evo for, but I'm so here for it. 
This is going to be a strange stretch, but here's my idea. Shiny Relo has a gold dung ball here. And who's our premier gold Pokemon? Well, Gimme Ghoul and Goldengo, of course. I've actually got a design for a video in waiting that also uses a similar idea of kind of what if Gimme Ghoul's a thousand coins could also evolve other Pokemon. Here, Shiny Relo collects up all that delicious gold and takes on the appearance of a log roller. I've been playing Sly 2 recently and the log rolling inspired me for this. A roll of Goldengo coins, or I guess Gimme Ghoul coins, now make up its new hobby and it goes everywhere in this gold. I also wanted this sort of almost lumberjack-like look to roll a log here, with a little bit of a beard and a buff looking exoskeleton. I wanted to show that this Pokemon gets close to Goldengo in looks, so I gave it a sort of sweatband looking part that mimics the look of Goldengo's belt. I can imagine an episode of the anime where a roller log is found accidentally rolling on a Gimme Ghoul instead of their precious coin log. Roller Log, the Glisten Pokemon, a bug and steel type. Roller Log evolves from Shiny Relor after using a thousand Gimme Ghoul coins on it. Roller Log has unparalleled balance, constantly running along its roll of gold, granting it incredible speed and the ability to run across water or make quick escapes. Despite its speed, it always maintains its iconic facial expression, which only serves to further anger predators. Roller Log shares a strange connection with its coins. If it loses one, it will instinctively know its exact location after a period of sleep and will roll for days to retrieve it. Roller Log have the abilities good as gold and Storm Drain. And why does it have Storm Drain? Well, simply because I imagine Roller Log being able to run on water and survive water-based attacks by rolling on its log. Next we've got Palkia, and this one's kind of funny. I rolled Toy Paradox for this one. Toy Paradox Pokemon are toys come to life thanks to their whimsy core. And what's more popular in toys than My Little Ponies? Back in the day, they were a force to be reckoned with and invaded every part of the internet. And now Palkia in their origin form has now taken on the horrifying visage of a cute little pony. I wanted to keep the pony proportions here, so Palkia now has a massive snout and mane of spatial hair, leading into their big, goofy pony hooves and a cutie mark that's just their pearl. I know, it's horrifying. It gives off a bit of that tortured type null kind of vibes, which isn't bad because the idea of this happy cute pony toy line being this suffering god of space is kind of too good not to use. I imagine all the horse Pokemon would have a style here, but for now, let's welcome Palkia to the pink pony club. Just keep the jars away, okay? Plastic Pony, the Paradox Pokemon, a fairy and dragon type. A Pokemon found within the pages of a mysterious catalog. It resembles a certain Pokemon with a rather sinister face recreated into an adorable toy. The pearl-like mark on the side of its body appears to warp space around Plastic Pony, granting it the ability to quickly jump around, usually to avoid the grimy hands of children. Many different styles of Plastic Pony exist, each with its own unique appearance, but all resemble Pokemon of similar builds. Plastic Pony and all other Toy Paradox Pokemon have the ability Whimsy Core, which boosts the Pokemon's most proficient stat in Misty Terrain, or if the Pokemon is holding Booster Energy. Last of the video is Eternatus, and this one I also rolled a Terraform for. Eternatus is like this scary dragon skeleton, so I kind of thought what if the Terra Crystal Energy kind of filled in most of the parts here and caused Eternatus to become a sort of Ultra Necrozma type of being. I really like the eye shape of Eternatus, so I wanted to keep that glowing free eyes showing through from this sort of sparkly crystal dragon skin. I did take some liberties here, opting to make the hands and feet a bit more simplified than those massive jagged sharp crystal claws it had in its normal form, but still has plenty of the skeleton showing through, which also is kind of crystal. This is by no means what I imagine actual Eternatus would look like with its skin still on, but this is kind of what the Terra energy could muster to put on this big goober dragon. Dragon Terra Eternatus is filled with Terra crystals, which forces their Dynamax energy to their throats but only enhances their power through the combination of both energies. An extreme threat to anything that faces it, the only drawback is its inability to Eternamax when in this form. 
I'm going to be honest, I feel like I absolutely cooked with the designs in this video, and I was partially on time for once with the release of Surging Sparks, I think. Comment down below what you thought of the designs of the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell to support me so I can continue to feed this cardboard addiction. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.